Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid as fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck?! Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Maybe we split up then. So you stay with Lily? And Doug will stick with your ass because you saved him one time. And I get who? Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. There's no safe way through that mess. Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Hmm. hmm. Looks
Looks like it still works. He's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. <laughs> Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. <laughs> Shit! Okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go.
she's gone. There's not much time now. some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable any- Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side, Kenny. This is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. 
And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. There was no saving her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. I don't like living like this. Christ, folks. It's not getting any easier. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now... If she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety's always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever's out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. 
If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... You feel useful to the group? What? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just... I feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is.
Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. How's the drawing? Good. I'll Do you guys you know later. anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell oh, you... Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. I'll catch you later, Doug. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. 